All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all doing all right and staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you were baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just hope that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, he protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep your eyes fixed on Jesus, you keep your eyes fixed on the prize, you stand on a narrow path, you keep fighting a good fight of faith, you keep on helping a whole bunch of people along your journey as well. And I just pray that whatever the Lord has in store for you, that you receive a double portion. And I just pray that you are responsible and you are helpful and generous with what the Lord has given you as well. Amen. Most definitely, y'all. I appreciate all of you for listening and supporting. It means a lot to me. I love you all, praying for you all. Let's always keep uplifting one another in the Lord. Let's keep uplifting each other in Christ forevermore. Encouragement is important. Support is important, y'all. Okay, so we really have to really stick together. We're scattered all four corners of the earth, but we can still walk in love and still respect one another, and we can still praise the same creator wherever we're at. Amen. Most definitely do not be ashamed of the gospel. Most definitely, y'all. Yes, yes, y'all. Let's thank the Lord for waking us up. Let's thank the Lord for another day. Let's thank the Lord for giving us another chance to keep seeking his face. Let's thank the Lord for his word, his grace, his mercy, his favor, his covenants, his promises, his only begotten son who died for our sins, his word, all the beautiful stuff that the Lord has done for us. Let's thank the Lord for food in our belly, clothes on our back, a roof over our head. And let us always just thank him for just who he is, protecting us coming in and going out. Amen. So much things could have went another way, but we're still here praising. Amen. So always got to thank the Lord, man. Your situation may not be where you want to be right now, but there's someone out there going through a lot worse hell than you. Just believe that. Okay. So let's stay grateful and appreciative and thankful through it all. Always count it all joy and more praising, less complaining. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. Yes, yes. Welcome, everybody, all peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faces, all four corners of the earth, all kindreds. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted, it is all right. Let us gather together. Praise the Lord in unity, harmony, love, peace, everything and above, y'all. The Lord loves and we are together for him, all right? So let us make the Father happy together. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. Let us love the Lord our God for all of our mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Let us love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives until his son comes back. He has come back like a thief in the night. He has come back in the hour nobody knows but the Father. And he has come back for a people who are spotless and blameless. So cleanse yourself up, the cleansing of the word, the washing of the word. Y'all better stay ready so you don't have to get ready, okay? Stay ready. Keep that lamp and that oil forever running, burning, all right? Keep that lamp and oil, y'all. Keep it, keep it, keep it. Amen. Most definitely, y'all. Let us know the Lord better. Let us keep seeking his face and staying close and personal with him forever. Let us keep always obeying the law, statutes, and commandments, always obeying the gospel, always obeying his full word. And whatever secret person thinks he told you, obey that as well. Amen. Obedience, obedience, obedience. Be steadfast, consistent, firm, narrow path, people, narrow path. Amen. So just enjoy that journey as you're walking by faith and not by sight forevermore. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. So in today's message, we're going to continue the Bible reading series of the lost books of the Bible within the Apocrypha, all right? So in this one, we are going to read Bell and the Dragon, all right? We'll go through Bell and the Dragon, and then from there, we'll close out with a priestly blessing, we'll close out with a prayer, and we'll close out giving all the praise on and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and praise the only begotten Son who died for our sins, amen? Hallelujah, y'all. Yes, yes. So here we go. Daniel and the Priest of Bell. When King... Astages was laid to rest with his ancestors. Cyrus the Persian succeeded to his kingdom. Daniel was a companion of the king and was the most honored of all his friends. Now the Babylonians had an idol called Bel, and every day they provided for it 12 bushels of choice flour and 40 sheep and six measures of wine. The king revered it and went, and went every day to worship it, but Daniel worshiped his own God. So the king said to him, Why do you not worship Bel? He answered, because I do not revere idols made with hands, but the living God, mm -hmm, who created heaven and earth and has dominion over all living creatures. The king said to him, do you not think that Bel is a living God? Do you not see how much he eats and drinks every day? And Daniel laughed <laughs> and said, do not be deceived, O king, for this thing is only clay inside and bronze outside and has never eaten or drunk anything. <laughs> then the king was angry and called the priest of Bel and said to them, if you do not tell me who is eating these provisions, you shall die. But if you prove that Bell is eating them, Daniel shall die because he has spoken blasphemy against Bell. 
Daniel said to the king, let it be done as you have said. Now there were 70 priests of Baal besides their wives and children. So the king went with Daniel into the temple of Baal. The priest of Baal said, see, we are now going outside. You yourself, O king, set out the food and prepare the wine and shut the door and seal it with your signet. When you return in the morning, if you do not find that Baal has eaten it all, we will die. Otherwise, Daniel will, who was telling lies about us. They were unconcerned, for beneath the table they had made a hidden entrance through which they used to go in regularly and consume the provisions. After they had gone out, the king set out the food for Baal. Then Daniel ordered his servants to bring ashes, and they scattered them throughout the whole temple in the presence of the king alone. Then they went out, shut the door, and sealed it with the king's signet, and departed. During the night, the priests came as usual with their wives and children, and they ate and drank everything. Early in the morning, the king rose and came and Daniel with him. The king said, are the seals unbroken, Daniel? He answered, they are unbroken, O king. As soon as the doors were opened, the king looked at the table and shouted in a loud voice, you are great, O Bell, and in you there is no deceit at all. But Daniel laughed and restrained the king from going in. Look at the floor, he said, and notice whose footprints these are. The king said, I see the footprints of men and women and children. And the king was enraged, and he arrested the priests and their wives and children. They showed him the secret doors through which they used to enter to consume what was on the table. Therefore, the king put them to death and gave Baal over to Daniel, who destroyed it in its temple. Daniel kills the dragon. Now in that place, there was a great dragon that the Babylonians revered. The king said to Daniel, you cannot deny that this is a living God, so worship him. Daniel said, I worship the Lord my God, for he is a living God. Mm -hmm. But give me permission, O king, and I will kill the dragon without sword or club. The king said, I will give you permission. I give you permission. Then Daniel took pitch, fat, and hair, and boiled them together and made cakes, which he fed to the dragon. The dragon ate them and burst open. Then Daniel said, see what you have been worshiping? When the Babylonians heard about it, they were very indignant indignant and conspired against the king saying the king has become a jew he has destroyed bell and killed the dragon and slaughtered the priest going to the king they said hand daniel over to us or else we will kill you in your household in your household the king saw that they were oppressing him hard and under compulsion he handed daniel over to them daniel in the lion's den they threw daniel to the lion's den and he was there for six days there were seven lions in the den and every day they had been given two human bodies and two sheep but now they were given nothing so that they would devour Daniel. Now the prophet Habakkuk was in Judea. He made a stew and had broken bread into a bowl and was going into the field to take it to the reapers. But the angel of the Lord said to Habakkuk, take the food that you have to Babylon to Daniel in the lion's den. Habakkuk said, sir, I have never seen Babylon. I, don't, I know nothing about the den. Then the angel of the Lord took him by the crown of his head and carried him by his hair. With a gust of wind, he set him down in Babylon right over the den. Then Habakkuk shouted, Daniel, Daniel, take the food that God has sent you. Daniel said, you have given, you have remembered me, O God, and have not abandoned me, those who love you. So Daniel got up and ate, and the angel of God immediately returned Habakkuk to his own place. On the seventh day, the king came to mourn for Daniel. When he came to the den, he looked in, and there sat Daniel. The king shouted with a loud voice, you are great. O Lord, the God of Daniel, and there is no other besides you. Then he pulled Daniel out and threw into the den those who had attempted his destruction, and they were instantly eaten before his eyes. <laughs> man, oh man, that is a read right there. That is the book of Bell and the Dragon right there, Lost Books of the Bible, the Apocrypha, okay? So, yo, that man Daniel was a was a soldier for God, man. That right there, that man right there stood his own, boy. Daniel was a real one. <laughs> I love reading about Daniel, man. He, I, I, he's one of my favorite people to read about, man. So that is a very interesting read. So it just gives you more insight and detail about what Daniel endured. Because when you read like just the book of Daniel um, within any Old Testament Bible, it just usually has about just 12 chapters. There's only just 12 chapters in the book of Daniel. But when you read these lost books of the uh, Bible, you see a lot more of Daniel included in them. So... So that right there just shows you how much Daniel had going on in his life and what he endured and went through for God. You know, Daniel was always around the hostile um, idolaters. You know, he's around all that you know, witches and sorcerers, all people worshiping different gods. So Daniel had to really hold his own in there, serving the true God. Amen. I just love how Daniel, 
He always stood ten toes down. I just love how he never conformed. Amen. And it's just cool how Daniel, you know, was always just declaring how great the true one God is and how much he worshiped him. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's just amazing how Daniel killed the dragon, too. So these people, these Babylonian people, they worship all types of stuff. They worship gold, silver, uh, molten images, graven images, all types of stuff. They even worship the dragon. And Daniel killed it. <laughs> Daniel, uh, he baked like a cake of fat hair and um, tar, like oil, like pitch, and boiled them together, made cakes out of it, and fed the dragon. And a dragon burst open. <laughs> and Daniel's like, hey, that's what y'all worshiping. <laughs> yeah, you know, so um, it's just very powerful, you know, how Daniel, he got thrown into the lion's den. So you kind of see the difference of how um, King Nebuchadnezzar threw him in the lion's den. And then you also see how um, how the king, uh, how this one threw Daniel in the lion's den of, of Persian. So Daniel went through it like multiple times with this. And it says he was in there for six days. He was in the lion's den, and then he was just there. And there, then that there were seven lines in there as well. That number seven, very spiritual number, meaning completion. And the prophet Habakkuk even gets involved. So the prophet Habakkuk, he was in Judea, just like chilling, doing him. He was making stew, just cooking, and then making some food. And the angel spoke to him and told him to, you know, go, you know, go to Babylon and. Um, you know, take that take that food to Babylon and Daniel in the lion's den. And Habakkuk just responded like, I've never been to no Babylon. What is all that? <laughs> you got to remember. So the, the prophet Habakkuk was like questioning with the angel. So the angel just took Habakkuk by, by his hair. He took him by his hair. Similar to how God took Ezekiel by his hair in Ezekiel chapter 8. Habakkuk, the, the, the angel is taking Habakkuk by his hair to Babylon, to Daniel. And then Habakkuk was able to... Uh, Feed Daniel, look out for him. You know, Israelite brothers looking out for one another within our trials, tribulations, and despair. And Habakkuk pulled through. And he fed Daniel, and, you know, Daniel remembered God and said, Lord, you remember me, and thank you, you know. And he praised him, and then he got up at eight. And then the angel of God immediately returned Habakkuk back to Judea. He, re he returned him back. So them angels be working, man. I'm telling you, them angels of God that's assigned to us, boy, they working. They are working, working, working. All good things work together for those who love God. Amen. Got the angels involved, got the prophet involved. Boy, we, ooh, that teamwork, boy, that's teamwork right there. Amen. Then um, the king went, came back to see Daniel. Daniel was still there because they thought Daniel was dead, but Daniel is alive because we serve a true and living God. Amen. So, uh, yes, yes, we stood, Daniel stood there, man, ten toes down, ate and chilled out and and what happens is the wicked people, they got thrown into lions then they got consumed and ate up, but Daniel didn't, amen. That just shows you whether you're in fire, lions then God will protect you. I know that's right. No matter what you're going through, which way which you've been, man, God will protect you. And the things that Daniel, Job, Jeremiah, Paul, the things they all went through, we about to go through this, all right? We are about to go through this in these last days, y'all. I'm telling you. That narrow path is one narrow path, boy. We all about to get it now in this spiritual warfare. All this wickedness and evil and principalities we fighting against, boy, we're going to be real firm and defend that faith like heavy. So the same things that Daniel endured, Job, Jeremiah, we about to go through that as well. Amen. Count it all joy, y'all. Get your crown of life in heaven. Get your treasures in heaven, people. Stay strong through everything. Amen. Most definitely. All right. So that's the reading of the book of Bell and the Dragon. All right, and the Apocrypha, the Lost Books of the Bible. So, very excellent read, amen. Most definitely. Always stay 10 toes down for the Lord. Always, 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 people. All right, so there you have it. All right, so what I would love to do as I close out this message is give all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and praise the only begotten Son who died for our sins. Hallelujah. Amen. Here we go. Yes, yes, y'all. Hallelujah. Praise Him. Our true hope, y'all. Yes, yes. He's looking now. He got us, y'all. He got us. He is the Adam, the second Adam, the last Adam, true hope for humanity, the advocate, the almighty, true and living God, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atoning sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessing only potent, the blessing only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd. 
Christ, the crown, the Christ of God, the constellation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, wonderful counselor, the creator, the day of spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, the eternal life, the everlasting father. The faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and the last, the first begotten, the first born from the dead, first born over all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the heir of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, that I am, that I am, that I am, the image of God, Jehovah, Jehovah, Jireh, Jehovah, Shalom, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, king eternal. He is the king of Israel. Amen. He is the king of kings. Hallelujah. He is the king of kings and Lord of lords. Hosanna, Hosanna, the highest king of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the life of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, our righteousness, the Lord is my portion, the Lord is my deliverer, the Lord is my strength, the Lord is my rock, the Lord is my salvation, the Lord is my helper, the Lord is my redeemer, the Lord is my branch, the Lord is my buckler, the Lord is everything in the all and above. He is a sustainer. He is the official one, most definitely. The Lord our God is one. There's no other like him, most definitely, y'all. Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, Yaha, Yesha, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Barakafa, Shalom, Shalom, Yeshua, Elohim, Yehosha, Yehusha, Yeshua, Yahweh, Shai, yes, yes, y'all. Yes, yes, Ahai Yeshaya. He is a consuming fire. He is our refuge, the Lord of hosts. He's in control, y'all. Most definitely the God of heaven and earth, the consuming fire. He is the father of lights, the father of the fatherless, the father of widows, the father of mercies. Most definitely his son sits at the right hand of him. The government rests on his shoulders. He is the great physician, can heal all things. He is the carpenter, can fix all things. With God, all things are possible. Nothing's too hard for the Lord. The most high made everything in six days. He rested on the seventh day. He could fix your situation right now in the name of Jesus. By his outstretched arm and his mighty hand, that finger of God, that thing still got to go. And the blood of Jesus still working. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. Plead the blood of Jesus all over your life, all around you, most definitely, y'all. Yes, yes, the Lord is my buckler. Yes, y'all, he's our buckler, y'all. Praise him, praise him, praise him. The Father and Son are amazing, y'all. Most definitely, he is the Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven, the man of sorrows, the mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten Son of God, our great God and Savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrificed Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection of life, the resurrection, the resurrector, the life, the revelation, the revelator, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the radiant one, the perfect example, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the rule of God's creation, the rule of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of Abraham, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, the son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine. Yes, he is the truth. He is the way. Amen. He is the way, truth, and life. Hallelujah. Praise him. He is the wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life. The word of Yahuwah, the word of Elohim, the word of Yeshua HaMashiach, the word of Yahweh Shai, the word of Yehosha, Yahusha, Yeshua, the word of Yahya Yeshaya. Most definitely, he is the word of the consuming fire, y'all. Most definitely, true word, true living waters. Most definitely, y'all. He's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He's the God of Shem. He's the God of Daniel, Noah, and Job. That's the God we serve. Amen. Most definitely, y'all. His word is pure, fine silver, just as David said in Psalms. His word is a double-edged sword, as it is said in the book of Hebrews. Amen. We touch and agree, y'all. Yes, yes. Give him some praise. Give him some honor. Give him all the honor. Give him all the glory. Praise him, praise him, praise him. He got you through it all, y'all. He got you through he got you through them near-death experiences. He got you from them streets. He got you from that bad person. He got you from that bad situation. He got you out of that bad environment. He got you through that car accident. He got through all them health conditions. He got you through, amen. We touch and agree. We serve an amazing creator. His son is amazing for dying for our sins, y'all. That blood still work. That blood always going to be working, most definitely. Yes, yes, y'all. His son is amazing for dying for our sins. His blood cleaned up our mess. His blood cleaned up our mess. Only his blood can do it, amen. 
He is worthy. He is able. Only he could do it. Most definitely. He is the seed of Abraham promise, the seed of Adam humanity, the seed of David kingship, the seed of God deity, the seed of Jacob nationality, the seed of Judah tribe, the seed of Shem race, the seed of woman prophecy. Amen. We touch and agree, y'all. In the authority and the power of the name of Jesus Christ, you are healed, renewed, restored, redeemed, forgiven, embraced, love, new mind, new heart, new soul, new hands to prosper, new footsteps, new path, new journey, healing, restoration, deliverance, steadfast, abundance, prosperity, goodness, gladness, heart, joy, glad for heart, zeal. Yes, y'all, new mind, new heart, new attitude, new everything, new attitude, new approach, new habits, new routines, new friends to praise the Lord with, new churches to go fellowship at, new everything, everything new, new attitude, new transportation, new moving, new city, new county, new state, new country, just new things all over your life. Behold, the Lord is doing a new thing, new miracles, new healing. Yes, new dreams, new visions, new interpretations. Yes, yes, in Jesus' name, most definitely, steadfast, stability. Yes, more strength, more strength, more strength, more obedience, repentance, baptism, forgiveness, new creature in Christ, born again, new life, everything new in your life forever. from now on, from now on, the Lord is doing a new thing, he's doing a new, new thing, yes, he is, y'all, the Lord doing a new thing, yes, sir, yes, ma'am, most definitely, yes, yes, y'all, he is so amazing, all right, so there you have it, all right, that is the word, that's the reading for today of the book of Bell and the Dragon, all right, Yes, yes, y'all. The you know Daniel and Habakkuk looked out for each other, man. Israelite brothers, we gotta look out for each other, man. We have to, gotta look out, man. And we gotta listen. God, be, obey the Lord's voice, man. And them angels talking to us, man. Listen, man. Amen. Yes, y'all. Israelite brothers and sisters, look out for each other, y'all. Yes. All right, we are still here. We are still here. Amen. I just pray to God that whoever listens, man, I just pray that you get baptized and get it going, man. Start your life over, man. Fresh start, fresh new beginnings, new seasons for you, man. All right, no more same old, same old, man. New life, new routines, y'all. Get it going, amen. So as I close out this message, what I love to do is give y'all the priestly blessing on the way out. All right, so here we go. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Shalom. I'm Jairus Kingston. I love you all so much. Praying for you all. New life, new beginnings, fresh starts. Get through your trials and tribulations and hardships and tests so you can have that testimony. Amen. Most definitely. Love you all. Prayers up. Peace.